Welcome back here at 5.30. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Mayor Adams says the migrant crisis made the deep budget cuts necessary. His budget director saying the next five classes at the police academy will be canceled. The number of cops expected to drop from about 33,000 to about 29,000 in the fiscal year that starts next July. That is the lowest number of cops in the city since the 1990s. Cuts to the Department of Sanitation means there will be fewer litter baskets, trash cans, and cleanup programs. But there's also a big impact coming to city schools. And so joining us now is United Federation of Teachers President Michael Mulgrew. Michael, good to have you with us. Good to see you. So 43% of the school system we're expected to be affected here. $120 million cut to pre-K and 3K programs, uh, among many other things. What do you, what do you, uh, how do you see this? How do you react to this? I, I don't see this as being necessary at all. You know, I've been around uh, the city and doing budgets for quite some time, and I've never seen a mayor saying we're doing cuts when the revenue is up. Revenue is the revenue. We're past the revenue projections. Taxes are coming in. They're making a fortune off of speed cameras. Uh, the the reserves are over eight billion dollars, and I just think this is just fabricated for some sort of political drama. I really do not understand this. I've never seen this situation ever in my entire time in this job. Well, you know, Marsha Kramer just reported that this these budget cuts are due in part to the asylum seeker crisis. You know, cost millions, billions of dollars to keep these mm -hmm. asylum seekers housed. So not only are the schools being asked to cut back, but then teachers are also going to be expected to educate an influx of these students. So how are you going to make this work? Because you have to make these cuts, whether you like it or not. Well, whether we like it or not, we're going to make the cuts, but I'm also going, we're going to do everything in our power and look at all of our uh, different ways that we can start fight back against this. It's going to be very tough on the schools. And our teachers and our school communities have been doing phenomenal work despite all the challenges. Remember, we have gotten unprecedented amounts of funding from the state and federal government the last two years. The only people who have been cutting education is our own city. That's the only entity that has been doing these cuts. And the other issue for us is you can't, I don't understand how he's coming up with an additional $5 billion in asylum seekers cost. There, there is no basis for that number. And this is gonna become a really ugly public fight because our schools have had it, they've done all of this work. We're doing a literacy program that we hopefully be very successful, but our schools dealing with the asylum seekers are under a tremendous amount of stress and pressure because they're not getting a lot of support and now they're going to get cuts on top of it. The, the mayor also says he wants parents to get involved in helping the schools out, such as becoming crossing guards for the schools. What do you imagine that uh, to look like? And how's that going to play out? I never look the, the the budget numbers. Everyone should be asking, you know, what? Where are you getting these numbers from? These numbers make no sense. This is, to us, we're like, there's no validation for these numbers. The mayor's only allowed to cut if revenues are down. Revenues are above projections. They're way above. So, you know, and, and, and you know, when we're working with the state and federal government and when we're, we're lobbying for money for the asylum seekers, the response we always get is the city doesn't file its paperwork. But are you, are you ready to ask, I'm sorry, are you ready to ask parents to become crossing guards? I do not believe I do not believe that is necessary. We have parents who volunteer all over our school system uh, and do tremendous work. These cuts are going to mean after-school programs. We saw a lot of cuts right now in the schools that'll do after-school programs and weekend programs. So uh, again, I am not going to fall into the trap of playing this dramatic game with the mayor. All right, U of T President Michael Mulgrew, thanks for joining us here this afternoon Thank and sharing you. your thoughts. For more on the city's budget, you can head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com.